It's nice to welcome in Maria Horn, who is a um, 64th district in Connecticut elect. Uh, she's not serving in that capacity yet, but very, very soon. Uh, Maria, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Marshall. It's great to be with you. Uh, you know, you've, you've got a, a busy schedule already. I'm looking at, at your schedule for uh, for today. Uh, you have a couple of uh, your coffee hours. First of all, let's talk about those coffee hours. Uh, you've got all the towns scheduled right now, as far as I can see, except Salisbury and Sharon. Today you'll be at the Cornwall Country Market at 8.30, and then you'll also be in Kent at 10 o'clock? Yeah, that's right, at the Swift House. All right, uh, so uh, the Swift House in Kent at 10 o'clock this morning and the Cornwall Country Market in Cornwall this morning from 8.30 to 9.30. Uh, and are these just kind of like introductory uh, uh, introductory meetings where people can really uh, sit down and talk with you and uh, and get across ideas that, 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 that they want covered? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, it was important to me. Um, I think these haven't been held in a while, and, and which I understand because, you know, when you represent nine towns, it's pretty tough. Um, to, to schedule all nine towns, but but I I did manage to schedule all nine of them, uh, and the only the, the two that we're waiting for, I'm just waiting for confirmation from the from the places we're going to hold them. Um, but but so it depends sort of on the venue. You know, there are some that are being held at a town hall, in which case there's you know maybe some more room for private discussion, and the others are held in a you know a, a cafe or coffee you know. Um, so, uh, restaurant or something like that, which are a little bit more public. So it's just just a chance to you know meet face to face, talk about issues, talk about what uh, the kind of issues I'm hearing about, uh, what's starting to happen. There's already a lot of you know communication amongst the the um, legislators about because we we you know as a part time legislature in theory, uh, I get sworn in on January 9th, and you know ideas for legislation are due on January 11th. So you know things start you know you, you got to hit the ground running. I guess you do. Now, also, on top of that, uh, of course, we have uh, the Sharon Hospital and HealthQuest. Now, I think yesterday, I'm not sure, I think there was a meeting held on HealthQuest's application for what they're doing in New York. But there is a meeting coming up here in Connecticut where the public can attend and there's going to be public comment. Uh, that should be a very interesting meeting. Yes, it should. Just to be, to be clear, there are actually two meetings. Uh, one is, uh, is a uh, public uh, presentation by HealthQuest at Sharon Town Hall on Monday morning at nine o'clock. Yep. Um, that is, uh, I believe, those are things that are just required as you know, a, a part of the, the acquisition of Sharon. Um, uh, but the other one the, is happening on Tuesday in Danbury at three thirty uh, at Broadview Middle School, and that's the one. It concerns the application for uh, HealthQuest to merge with Wealth, Western Connecticut Health Network. And um, while that doesn't necessarily, you know, go directly at Sharon, it really, the hearing there um, directly bears on HealthQuest's relationship with the community and commitment to the community. And so it's it's really important, you know, that as many people as possible come to that hearing. Um, I certainly will be going, and a lot of people who have been involved in, in um you know, activism surrounding the hospital will be attending that as well. And that there is an opportunity to submit um, a written testimony. In fact, I, I confirmed yesterday that that anyone who wants to submit written testimony on that can do it for the, the hearing record is going to be open for one week after following that hearing. So until midnight on December 10th, people can submit written comments. And it's important because I remember way back when, uh, when Sharon Hospital was going nonprofit, uh, these meetings were held uh, locally and in Hartford. And, yeah. and people showing up in mass and speaking out uh, made a big difference. And even though this isn't about Sharon Hospital, the second meeting, it is about Sharon Hospital because it's about HealthQuest. It, it, it absolutely is about Sharon Hospital. And, and here's the thing. I mean, what, we're trying, what I'm trying to do here, as there are a number of other people who are working on this, is to connect you know, some various players in a, in, a, in a plan moving forward. I mean, there, there clearly is there's a reason why the state has to approve these you know, mergers of healthcare institutions, and that's because there is a public interest in the provision of health care and to make sure, particularly you know, in rural areas, that, that you know, we continue to have access to a full range of quality health care. And, and so there's a state interest there, and the more we can raise these issues in public, uh, you know, the more important. And one of the things that I, I noticed reading the uh, HealthQuest and Western Connecticut Health Network submitted uh, papers um, uh, at the, you know, the, the hearing is scheduled by the office or it's held by the Office of Healthcare Strategy, or OHS, lots of acronyms here. Um, and they asked 
uh, HealthQuest and Western Connecticut Health Network to answer certain questions or, or submit, you know, a testimony um, direct, you know, on, on certain points. And some of those have to do with, you know, community needs. And you can see in their written submissions, for example, the sort of distinction uh, between how uh, Western Connecticut Health Network is responding to uh, a community needs assessment and how HealthQuest is. In, in the submissions, for example, uh, Western Connecticut Health Network says they're going to continue to work with, um, uh, you know, their lo- to collaborate with their local community and meet with key community organizations, whereas HealthQuest you know, refers to just getting this past their board, uh, uh, you know, a board meeting on December 3rd. And I'm concerned that those, you know, those Sharon um, board meetings are not public. And we need to use every opportunity we can to try to create some forum, uh, I would hope, going forward, in which uh, HealthQuest is responsive to the public and that there is a dialogue between people who are concerned. And, and I hope that that includes not just you know, a, a range of people, but but some experts, uh, some people who have been involved in the provision of health care, both locally and in other rural areas. Now, are you, are you talking? Um, about, are you talking about the HealthQuest board itself? I'm t- well. This, uh, you know, I I'm concerned. You know, that um, there's a board board meeting. I discovered in these papers is a board meeting of the the Sharon Health, sorry, yeah. the Sharon Hospital Board, which just to, to review doesn't have any independent authority. And, and I really haven't, we haven't heard much from them in this process, uh, in part because there haven't been, you know, publicly, uh, public meetings yeah. in which, they, you know, they're accountable to anybody who wants to ask questions. Wow. It's, 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 it's one of those things, I, and, and I know there's a group that, 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 is, that is very vocal about this, but it's one of those things where you try to explain to people, like, voting is very important and, 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 and every vote matters. And if you are concerned uh, and you, you want to get the message across the state of Connecticut that you're concerned that you want HealthQuest to, 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 to commit to their original commitment before you get, allow them expansion, that's your only stone you have to throw in this whole meeting. Right. Yes, no, well, that's absolutely right. And, and and given that the you know the the pattern of action here, there's there are good reasons for there to be a lack of trust between you know the community and HealthQuest. You know the way news was unspooled, you know, in a in a chaotic way. Um, a lot of people are feeling you know there's a lot of little snippets of good news at the moment in terms of commitment to maternity, for example. But I think we're we're all in the trust but verify mood, yeah. uh, and we want to see a series of, you know, public engagement with the community and with organizations that have experience in healthcare, healthcare, uh, so that we can be assured that this is a a, a long term commitment to a community hospital. Uh, we're speaking with Maria Horn, who is a uh, state representative elected for the 64th district here in Connecticut, uh, who has uh, waiting to be sworn in. But as you said, I'm sure that you've been dealing uh, uh, with Brian's office. I, by the way, uh, Brian Oler was invited to come on this morning as well. I have not heard yet back from Brian, but uh, I'm I'm sure that th- this is a an incredibly busy time with you, not only with the with the hospital issue, but with obviously the state of Connecticut. <laughs> there's there's a ton of issues. There are one or two. <laughs> I mean, you've got tolls. You, I mean, on, just on the surface, you've got tolls and marijuana. That's just just a throwaway right there. But you really do have uh, um, the states in need of uh, uh, of some of some, I guess, grounding. And I guess it, it, this is a big task as you head into the legislature. It absolutely is, and there are um, there, there are, as I said, a swirl of conversations about how to uh, how to hit the ground running as soon as the legislature starts up in January. And I know, you know, the governor, um, you know, Lamont and and the lieutenant governor, Susan Bicewitz, have made a lot. Of, they've been reaching out at you know with you know open uh, open hands and you know ears and listening to everybody and trying to figure out you know, how to invite a lot of people to the table so that we can get some really good, you know, solutions. Well, uh, I, I would hope that uh, maybe after the meeting uh, is over this week, uh, it will set up a time where you can come back on it and talk about what what happened at that meeting and what your, what your, what your thoughts are, how the meeting went. 
I'd love to do that. Maria, have a good day today. Once again, if you want to see Maria in person today, uh, the Cornwall Country Market, uh, which is located right uh, at that, that big intersection in the, in the center of, of uh, uh, Cornwall Bridge, uh, and that is at 8.30 to 9.30 this morning. And then also the Swift House, 12 Maple Street in Kent, uh, today from 10 until 11. Maria, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Marshall. Good luck with your technical difficulties. <laughs> That's Comcast, <laughs> so you just never know. <laughs> okay. Take care. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Maria Horn this morning here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio.